Good morning. So I'm here a bit earlier today. So I want to share with you a little routine that will help boost your energy because we are energetic beings and all the energy we need is available to us. But unfortunately, our lifestyle tends to drain energy from us, from the foods we eat, you know, eating too much processed food, eating too much sugary food, from not sleeping enough, from not taking enough rest, and just slobbing out in front of the telly is not actually resting. You know, there's many things that we do that drain our energy, but we have all the energy we need within us, but we need to stimulate us. I kind of always liken it to like a self-charging battery. You know, we need to actually move to give ourselves energy. And I know it seems counterintuitive. I know when you feel a bit tired and feel a bit bleh, you don't feel like moving, you don't feel like doing anything. But actually, if you want more energy, you have to actually get off your ass and move. It's as simple as that. You know, turning to coffee and energy drinks and stuff like that only gives you a temporary energy boost. And it's a kind of fake energy boost, so then you have a big dip. So if you want more energy, best thing you do, is stand up. Too much time spent sitting can make you feel lethargic, can make you feel fatigued, but it's a false tiredness. You're not really physically tired, you're just not energized. It's like not having a phone on charge. So standing up, connecting with the ground beneath you, spreading out your toes, visualize roots extending out through your feet down into the earth. And then you can imagine drawing energy up through those roots. As if you're drawing energy from the center of the earth, that fiery ball at the center of the earth, and imagine as if you're plugging yourself in. Now grounding, standing barefoot, especially if you're outside, has been scientifically proven to help give us more energy and help us feel calmer because we're connecting to the earth. And also we're closer to the Earth's energetic core. If you imagine the center of the Earth actually has enough power in it to power the whole world 10 times over. There's so much power there. So you can imagine drawing up energy through your roots. And the first thing to do is just check in, just to notice how you feel right now. So notice how you feel before we do the little routine so that you can compare how you feel at the end. So noticing how you feel physically. So if there's any aches or pains, any discomfort anywhere, without judging it, without labeling it, just notice it, just observe it, be curious. Say, ah, that doesn't feel too good, or that feels a little bit sore. So just being curious. And then noticing how you're feeling emotionally. And however you're feeling, whether you're feeling stressed, whether you're feeling happy, however you're feeling, just notice that. And notice how that feels in your body. Because different emotions have kind of different densities, different frequencies. Obviously high vibration emotions like happiness, joy, excitement, we feel more energized. Stress, boredom, despair, grief are low vibration emotions. And they feel kind of blur, feel less energized. But don't judge yourself for it, don't make yourself wrong about it. And then noticing how you feel energetically. You know, our energy levels kind of tend to go up and down, so we affect them greatly, affected by the weather, affected by the moon cycles, all different things affect our energy levels. So just noticing how you feel energetically right now. Without criticizing, without judging, just simply noticing. So that we can compare how you feel at the end. And taking a nice deep breath in. And let it go. And opening your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths. And as you breathe in, imagine breathing from your feet right up to the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine breathing from the crown of your head down and out through your feet. Inhale, fill your chest, fill your ribcage. As you breathe out, feel your shoulders relax. As you breathe in, imagine drawing the breath up from Mother Earth, up through your feet, up and out of the crown of your head. As you exhale, imagine breathing all the way from the crown of your head down and out through your feet. So visualization is a very powerful tool because our mind doesn't know the truth between what is real and what we're visualizing. So 
So if you're visualizing drawing energy up, then we literally are drawing energy up. You can imagine it's got a color. You, know, you can imagine drawing green light energy up through your feet, up right through to the crown of your head as you breathe in. Imagine it flowing back down as you breathe out. And deeper breathing as well gives us more energy because oxygen is the body's fuel. We can't go more than a few minutes without oxygen, but so many of us breathe kind of up in our chest. We're not breathing properly. So even just taking a few deep breaths, really expanding your rib cage can help you feel more energetic. Next, you can do a very simple exercise, make sure there's not a wall behind you. Keep the feet back hip width apart, you can inhale, reach the arms up, squeeze your butt as you reach up, and you breathe out through the mouth, swing the arms down. And as you breathe out with a Feel it in your belly. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. <sighs> <sighs> Great exercise to do first thing in the morning or when you need an energy boost. Imagine shaking off any negative energy, shaking it off. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, swing down. Really make it a dynamic swing. The more energy you put in, the more you'll get back. Stretch up, bend the knees deeply as you swing down and up. Wide the hip width, just interlink your hands and you get a swing side to side as if you're throwing something over your shoulder. Pivot on the ball of your foot, let the arms be nice and loose. So, twisting through our spine is so good for releasing energy in the body. Just breathe in, breathe out. Twisting is so good for us, gives us an energy boost. Warming up into our spine. Breathe in and out. Out one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Then come back to center. Bring the feet underneath the hips. Bring your thumbs and index fingers together. As you inhale, you're going to lift the left knee up. And you're going to swing the arms up as you breathe out. You'll bring the right knee up, and swing the arms around and up. So we breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathing in and out through the nose this time. And I want you to move the arms dynamically, really dynamically, and push the foot that's on the floor, push down into the floor as if you're going to take off. Remember, if you want to feel more energized, you need to put more effort in. So this exercise is taken from Kundalini Yoga, and it boosts your energy levels. Strong breath in, strong breath out, as if you're sniffing and blowing your nose. So as you breathe out, pull your belly button in towards the spine. And you may start to get tired, but if you can push past that fatigue, that's your nervous system recalibrating. You get more energy in return. And you'll turn your arms as well. through your body. And just with your knees bent, just kind of do a little couple of jumps up and down. Let your arms be nice and relaxed. And imagine like that recharging battery. And we're shaking up all the cells in the body, literally shaking them up and giving the acupressure points in our feet. Three, two, one, 
and release. Take the feet a little bit wider from the hip width. Turn the toes out very slightly. And inhale, squat down as low as you can. Exhale, press back up. Inhale, squat down. Try and have your knees over your toes. Exhale, push back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Activating our lower energy centers. Breathe in, breathe out. If you can't get down this low, just come as low as you can. Just make sure your knees are over your toes. Three, two, one. Ah, release. Now take your feet out wide. Nice and wide, as wide as you can. And feel that stretch in your inner thighs. And this also stretches out the meridians on the inside and outside of your legs. Press into the outside edge of your feet. Pull up your thigh muscles. And just stand up nice and tall. Now it's not very often, unless you're a bit weird like me, and you practice yoga, that we stand wide. But we hold a lot of tension in our hips. A lot of emotional tension as well. So standing wide, you're very grounded, because you've got to kind of grip with your feet. We're releasing tension in our hips. And so we're engaging the meridians on the inside of our body, uh, inside of our legs. And those meridians have a lot to do with kind of anger and stress. So stretching these meridians on the inside of our thighs can release a lot of anger and stress. So think of just pressing into the feet, tighten up your thigh muscles even more. Maybe so you can go a tiny bit further. Might feel like you're going to go woo and split. Just take another breath here. Squeeze your butt slightly. Relax your upper body. Feel that stretch in your legs. And just heel toe the feet in a little bit. Turn your toes out so your feet are wider than hip width. Imagine you're pressing down through the floor. Then you're going to reach the arms up. And I want you to imagine stretching in all five directions. So through both arms, through both feet, crown of the head upwards, tailbone down. So it's like you're making a five, six pointed star. Now imagine roots going down from your feet, down into the earth, drawing energy up through your roots, through your feet. And imagine your fingertips are like antennae, like radio aerials, and you're drawing in energy from the heavens, from the universe. Then pull up your thighs and breathe deeply. Relax your shoulders keep stretching in all directions crown of the head lengthen up tailbone lengthens down and as you do that visualize your arms and legs getting even longer as if you're reaching the corners of your room opening your heart making it easier to breathe more deeply just take a couple of nice deep breaths you might feel some tingling in your hands those shoulders even if your arms start to get heavy and if your arms start to shake that's good that's your energy changing if we want to feel better than we do now we need to actually do something about it and us humans are inherently lazy we all want the magic pill the magic wand we want someone else to sort it out we want to be able to take a drink or pop a pill and magic feel better life doesn't work like that Take another breath in, imagine stretching through your fingertips, stretching through your feet. And exhaling, relax the arms and bring your feet back in. Just give your legs a bit of a shake. Shake up the energy, shake up the cells in your body. And bring your thumbs and index fingers together, elbows nice and wide. You're going to step one foot behind the other and do like a little curtsy. Bend the knees, don't worry about coming down as far as me. Inhale, center, exhale, the other way. Just let your arms move however they want to move. Don't worry too much about copying me. We're warming up into the knees, hips and ankles. Breathe in, breathe out. And you can go as slow as you like. And don't worry about coming down too low. Just go as low as feels good for you.
Big inhale, exhale, soften your shoulders and your arms will just naturally find their own place. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. And we're also connecting right and left sides of the body by stepping the legs across. Then come to centre, keep the feet under the hips, elbows wide, inhale, twist to your left, exhale, twist to your right. Turn through your chest so your arms don't move. And if you can, go a little bit quicker. Breathe in, breathe out. Still visualising your roots going down from your feet, planting you, connecting you to Mother Earth whilst you free up the energy in your spine. If you start to get a little bit dizzy, just close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, focus on the tip of your nose. Twisting is so good for our bodies. It literally wrings out the crap in our bodies, frees up tension in the spine. energy boost. If you need to get a little bit slower, get a little bit slower to start with. Get the elbows lifted. Draw the belly button in. Four, three, two, one. And inhale, press the elbows back, lift your heart. again and just once more close your eyes and just notice how you feel now compared to when you started so you might just feel a little bit more tingly feel a little more energized but this is only a very short session and if you'd like to know more about our longer sessions or if you enjoy these short sessions then don't forget to press there should be a little button come up saying to be notified when donna michelle goes live click on that or if you'd like to know more about our longer online sessions with our online community then drop me a message remember if you want your life to change then you first have to change your energy and unfortunately no one else can do that for you only you but you have the power and you deserve it and namaste enjoy the rest of your day